All right, guys, welcome to Mafia Definitive Edition. Sorry, I just got done uh, watching something funny. <laughs> uh, so I played an early build of this a little while back. 2K Games actually came and wanted to sponsor this first part. Uh, I was going to leave it up to you guys if you'd like a full series. Um, if this first video hits like twenty or 30,000 likes in the first 24 hours, definitely expect... Uh, probably, I might go all the way with this one. I really liked this game when I played it early, so we'll see how this goes. Um, was gonna give away two copies of the game, one for PS4, one for Xbox. If you want a chance to win, see the like the video, leave a comment of when you found my YouTube channel. And if you want to play this game yourself, they gave me a link. It should be the very, very top of the description. Uh, I don't know if clicking that a lot. Click it five times. I don't know. <laughs> click it. Just click it however many times you want. Uh, but I do have a few bullets and points. So here's the thing. I was gonna try to do this organically, but... I felt like it'd be better if I just read these off so I don't forget because I know that once I start playing the game I'm gonna get like immersed and uh, Anyways, here we go. It's rebuilt from the ground up remake of the original Mafia. It's got an updated script with new dialogue I didn't know that actually uh, expanded backstories and additional cutscenes the upgraded realism for the city lost Haven not Haven heaven Excuse me uh, compelling characters and story period authentic cars and the game engine and mechanics have also all been updated So I didn't know it had additional cutscenes. That's kind of cool Anyways, you guys are amazing. Let's go ahead and start this up, see how it goes, and uh, let's get it, guys. Tommy. Thomas Angelo. Detective Norman. You 
you alone. <laughs> no self-respecting badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just a coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, you yeah. said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. Well, if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. I always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. <laughs> Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is, you got someone powerful mean on your tail, and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. Boss. Yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Grace, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. All right, so I didn't realize that. So when I play the early build of the game, it's actually the exact same thing so far. So I'm going to just probably do like both parts all in one. I mostly drove nights because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts when I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! Takeover. Let's get it. I got All a right. gun pointed at you. They catch up, we're dead. But you don't get to walk away. I don't want any trouble. Well, you got trouble. Drive. This thing is so How slow. The they knew we'd be there. It doesn't matter now. We just gotta lose them. Uh, How many cars we got following? One for now. But there'll be more. Yo, Hold am tight. I going the I'm right way? There we go. Nice. Who were those guys? You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. So what I'll wind up doing is, uh... Up there. 
Hurts like hell. Going back, I'll wake up the doc. I don't know, it might be okay. Just getting the call anyways. Hey, I see you listening, Cabby. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is... You got a death wish or something? <laughs> All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. All right, here we go. Jesus. So, okay, yeah, it's the exact the same. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. This thing is so slow. I don't know why I expected it to be faster, you know? It's all good, though. More of them. Ah, shit. I know some shortcuts that'll slow him down. I don't care how you do it. Just shake him off. Man, I remember I struggled with this part. I cut through here. That was your shortcut? I lost him, didn't I? Not all of them. Oh, no. These Hold on. These guys really don't like it, do they? Sometimes business partners fall out. It happens. Quit yapping, Polly. Yo, this thing has... No traction. Him not seeing the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. Let's see if we can lose him here. I don't think I took this route last time. Over here. Nice. <laughs> we got well, one left. We ain't clear yet. Keep driving. I'm gonna go over Four here all the way. The road for the works program aren't gonna thank us for this. Three crates down. <clears throat> How many motors were at the exchange? Four. Five, maybe. Uh, no, with him, he's called for more. Mm. Sure feels like it. Oh my God. Next time we take more muscle. No, I can't show. Sure expecting trouble. When the boss hears about this, they'll be out of pay. Yeah, I struggle a little bit on the uh, controlling these old vehicles. All right, we should be good after this. They must have sent word out. There's more and more of them. Oh no! We're not what happened? Last long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. Wait, they're behind me though. That's them at least. Or maybe not. Okay, I think they forgot about me. It's all good. Yeah. So what I'll do? I think I did two videos of the early build. Um, I'm gonna just do. Fast. I'm gonna do a super long part for this one. Try to kind of get us caught back up. So, any support you dropping this greatly appreciated, by the way. Excuse me, coming through. I love the the way the story is told. Definitely has the good fellows uh, vibe, you know. The bridge is up, ain't it? Yeah. Doesn't matter. We can make it. <laughs> Here we go. What the hell are we doing? Just sit tight and pray. Nice. Never done that before. Me neither. Okay, so little Italy. Now, your night's not over. What other movies? I, I guess The Godfather. Coming. You think he squealed? I think you zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. It's been like a really good year for gaming, I feel like. This actually was a surprise because. I don't know. I guess didn't expect them to come out with the Mafia thing. Because last time I played a Mafia game was Mafia 3. They had the Mafia 2. Okay, we're close. There we go. A little over in front of that bar. Celieri's place. Yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not?
compensation for your services, any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. <sighs> One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? No, of course. See you around, kid. When I opened the envelope, I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. Very good storytelling. I love the way this game is presented, you know. Alright, so we completed the chapter. An offer you can't refuse. So, here's what I'll wind up doing. Uh, when I played the two early parts, and I've already said this once, but I'm going to just get back up to where we finished that part two. That way, this part one is a lot longer. Probably, it's basically both of those videos in one. Uh, I know there's a lot of cutscenes, too. So, here we go, guys. Running Man. Have you guys After seen that movie with Arnold? After that night guys, <laughs> I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. Oh, yeah, we gotta help people out here. Let's go. So where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. I had to turn off music please. in game, by the way. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. Oh, you can put on the speed limit. I forgot about that. Who's gonna use that, really? Actually, I mean, if you're trying to evade the police, I can see it being useful. I think there's like a few missions where you have to use it, so. Yeah, I'm excited for this series, man. I've been wanting a really. Hold on, we're good. Be wanting a so, new story-driven game. It's Sunday already. Slow down. You'll have us killed. Ah, she'll be fine. So she'll be all are right. You deaf? I said slow down. Look at them so, skills. Church. <laughs> it's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. It just keeps asking her the same question. I love it. The persistence. Oh, look how big the church! Oh my goodness, the church is huge. I didn't notice that the first time I played it because I, I don't know if anything's different from the early build. The game does seem to be Stop a lot more there. stable. So. By the park. Here you go, St. Michael's. That'll be thirty cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure, whatever you say. Thirty cents. You see that kind of money, then you see. You see the money he got for helping the mafia guys out. It's like, well, let's uh, let's go continue to do that. Fear. Oh, that's right. You just gotta find a new fear. Oh, oh, hold on. I think there's one over here to the right. Unless that icon's not. Oh no, it's over here. Yeah, it's funny. I already did this mission before. Oh, what I thought about doing, I i mean, I could continue and just have a part three, but I felt like it not the same. Uh, granted, that was a preview build, so. I wanted to see if they changed anything. Or had anything, like, not in there. 
Yeah, I was told to take out the music, so here we go. <laughs> Sounds kind of weird sometimes. It's Our like gallery. quiet. Give me that quick. Sure. Quick, I can do. Time remaining. Oh my Taking god. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. Everybody's so mean. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Saw that before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? Oh have dear. A business I wanna get there quick, but let's do it in one My piece, bad. huh? If you press A, I have a business meeting there with Carly. Way. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I got spotted. I got one star right now, guys. It's not good. So if I, if you press the ram button, sometimes it it moves the vehicle left. I don't know why it did that. It just like ran into the other one. Yeah, we only got 45, oh, 40 something seconds left. 39, 38, no, no. <laughs> uh, I don't know what happens if you fail this. Hopefully I, I won't, though. All officers, search is called up. Repeat, abandon search. Return to patrols. You gotta need more than it was just a taxi, because uh, a lot of those out here. All right, that was cutting it close. Well, we're not, we haven't made it yet, hold on. Pull up in front of the gallery. Thanks, pal. Nice. Here's 50 cents. I don't spend it all at once. I'll try not to. He was at least nice at the end, you know? All right, we got one more, Every I think. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. On to the next. What was that movie, Taxi Driver, with Robert De Niro? It's kind of what this reminds me of a little bit. Hop on in, buddy. We good? Oh boy, you look like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. This man slurring okay. his words. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for a cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Cops see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Yes, so if they think they can shake something out of you, they will use. Any excuse. <clears throat> this city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. There's a cop in front of me. I'm guessing I should probably put on the uh, speed thing. I like how they paint the picture of a site. It's just after the 1920s, the Great Depression. You had the pro, the pro prohibition. I can't speak. Where well, they banned alcohol and everything. I'm just gonna go this way. Nearly there. Just up here on, on the corner, please. We got it! Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. That's kind of nice of him. Go there get some free stuff. Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Huh? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go help in Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while. <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. 
Let's get him. All right, the chase begins. I will say this, the game does seem a lot more stable. When I played the early build, obviously it had some bugs and stuff, but everything so far has been top notch. I gotta run. I gotta get going. Thought about using mouse and keyboard, but I'm just so bad at it. I'm better at mouse and keyboard with like shooter games. That's about it. Almost got killed right there. Escape the gangsters. Hold on. Clean getaway. Well, not not quite. Hold on. This dude, did he get shot? Look at this. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou, you got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you got to say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal, we ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. Thanks. Least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Salieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. Fucking so it begins. Clean mission. Actually, I was kind of worried I was struggling to drive me for a bit, but we're good. We made it. Molotov party. Oh, man. What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi, that's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You're gonna ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. That guy's kind of just making Boss a name for himself. Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. Uh, read the notes. Oh, that's right, I remember this. Find anything good? Who's the yeah, guy? I... I'm watching you. Well, got it? I get it. He's gonna drive the boss? Yeah, hello. Uh, hey, cigarette cards. Uh, see. 
See. Not that I smoke or anything. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, prohibition, here to stay. That's why they basically ban alcohol. Uh, read the notes. Join Polly. Here we go. I don't get what his problem is with me, Polly. I need to get what a pool table, man. I've always wanted to have one. I think you shouldn't ask me, Carlo. Not gonna give a good answer. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do like any uh, heavy team. lifting. We make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. We're grateful for his dough. We gotta go. This game is so good. Like, I'm having a lot of fun playing it. I like watching it, too. It's just like a movie, essentially. The way the cutscenes are, the dialogue between the characters, watching him, like, Grow with the mafia. Of a tenzo. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right. Good, good. Hey. You just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! If the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Aye, aye, aye. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short hairs. <laughs> nice. Me, Let's get these. Let me know if Paul gives you the hard time. I'll straighten them out. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot. He's got away with cars. I don't get how this moron gets engines to burn. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. That's because this was like a new thing back then, I think. Hey, genius! Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> what the fuck, dear P -P Polly? You can 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 sure P -P Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. But you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across the to, to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Stig's a tin can! So... Was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. New supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. The cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you... Hey! It's their cars we're wrecking today, not this junker! My bad. Morello, the guy whose cars you gonna torch? He's got more friends on the force than us. We're okay, as long as we're careful. An hmm. eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, if you want a bottle, just ask. We keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. That's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, 
a skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. That's a bold stretch. I kind of like, miss, I, I always miss these type of games. Like the Red Dead Redemption 2, Grand Theft Auto, Mafia type stuff. It's like they, the dialogue in the cars or on the horse or whatever. Build a backstory in like the environment, really. Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in the wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. I put on the uh, speed restrictor, but I realize this thing's so slow you don't even need it. Like, look at that, I'm barely making, breaking 25 right now. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. It's like, well, this is trial and error for me. <laughs> okay. You know how to go quiet, right? Jobs. Yeah, like that. Yeah, he's got his main guys. So we gotta destroy the couple of cars in the parking lot, then I think we have to start. I don't know if we shoot anybody here or not. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Get over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and jump them from behind. I'm real good at distracting. He's the best here. thing. Ah. Boss gets plenty of guys in the city real pissed. Makes them careful. Nice, we did it. Get the money, uh, he's good for it. Hey, what the hell you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you That's doing? That's right, I'm supposed to go down. Who are you? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep look out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over <laughs> just like that. Got him. <laughs> That's a clean takedown. Let's go. Uh, picking up the body really doesn't matter right now. And you can. Looks like why. These cars. Take your bat and start uh, let's do... A little drop here. <laughs> Alright, select the what? The bat? Oh, that's right. Street Fighter time. <laughs> Except instead of E. Honda's hands, I have a bat. Ah, oh, crap. Hey, get away from the Uh Knock him down, time. Uh, you you got Oh my goodness. Wish. Hold on. Jesus. Is this the takedown? Come on, Tom, quick. There's gonna be more. Nice. Kind of anticlimactic there. Let's see some flames. Or climactic. I can't speak. Wait for it. Love your work. Love the smell of burning paintwork. Does that get both of them or no? Oh, it does. Let's get it. Whole block heard that. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you. You got a good car? I'm gonna know where you keep it. Reports of burning vehicles and gunfire in North Park. It's right near Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Old ways are the best ways. Straight through the gate. We gotta get out of here before the bulls show. There Don't let them get away. Drive. Come back, oh, you bastards. Oh my God. Ah oh, shit. We got cops. So uh, what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. 
Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Use minimap to avoid patrols. Uh, I mean... I can see everything. We got two stars, though. It should be fine. I don't even see them behind me. Well, hold on. There's one right up here, I think. Maybe. But oh, they're coming now. Oh my god. Oh, now stay out of sight. Wasn't clear. I'm gonna go this way. All right, so it says don't lead the cops there, which is fine, but... Okay, we lost them. Nobody's behind me, we're good. Tom. We don't need more heat. That was clean. I'm, I, I feel like I'm running through the missions a lot faster since I have done these before, so... My goal is just to get caught up to what we were at on that second video that I did. Which I think is like a couple more missions, maybe. Might be over an hour long. Drive safe. They're still looking for us. Yeah, I'm excited, man. This has been an awesome re-experiencing this game. Very good. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought Silieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. I'm actually surprised at, like, field. how well the game's field holding up. Of what field? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. No time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. Oh, my God. You think it's for Let you? Me through, please. This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beep motors in parking lots. Eh. Try careful. We don't need the attention. Indeed. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. I've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor. Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. A b -b better car with a b -b broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. <laughs> Those are facts. <laughs> I kind of wonder, uh... Because I, I remember when I played the early preview build, there was a few glitches here and there. It looks like they fixed a, pretty much everything that was an issue. You then. Somehow, yeah. Hold on, let me... Oh, I think I've already hey, checked boss. that out. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make... It's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys, 
in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me, the only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook, but his daughter Sarah, Maron. Always, that's like one of my favorite endings to a mission so far. It's like, I like how they finally accepted him into the family, you know? All right, here we go. Ordinary routine. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't going to get me clipped. <laughs> but what did I know? You, Tommy? Yeah. Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. What's the thing like, uh, Dexter? That show uh, where he narrates a lot? <clears throat> I feel like the way they did it for this game also would just helped it so much. Because you kind of get the inner monologue of there Tommy, you know? Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. That's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Ah, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just oh, yeah, wants to tell you some bullshit story about uh, some actually, guy he whacked 20 years ago. Yeah, let's go out here. I think it's up top over here. Unless it's... Yeah, here it is. This reminds me that one area in Goodfellas where they go across like an alleyway... To go talk to, like, the head guy. I always forget the guy's names in that movie, but I'll have to go back and check it out. Hey, just the guy. I saw this, and I thought of you. Get our first piece. Let's go, baby. You ever carried a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. I need ammo first. Hold on, let me, uh... Just Not aim down the side. you real mean. Now, click, click, click. Come on, shoot. Bang. Bring all up the walls. I okay, now show me a reload. All right, open the chamber and away you go. All right, last thing. It needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind something. And don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss is Vincenzo. To you. That's Vinny. Hmm, Vinny. On a nickname basis. Let's go. Talk to Ralph. Now, I struggled in the combat when I played the early build of the game. Like, shooting and stuff. I was really bad at it. <laughs> it's like, it was careful, struggling. Okay? I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent since he lost I think this is new. Yeah, one year since the crash. Stock market crash. Uh, the worst. Hold on, let me read it. The worst panic in Wall Street's peace time history was one year ago today and still no escape from the wider economic depression that it followed uh, that has followed it. Unemployment reached 8% this month. 
But given the prevailing trend of shuttering businesses, banks, and foreclosed farmsteads, some economists warn that this could double, perhaps even triple in the coming years. It's crazy if you look at the stock market, how look at it then, look at it now. And it's like, it's been bad this year, but it's still going up, you know? You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through, reach inside, easy. And then afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Mm. I like Ralphie a lot. All right. Here we go. Come on, Tita Tommy. Okay, it's c, c car You got it. Wait for Sam and Polly. I want to say this is the last mission I did. First like we the got early Al. footage. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. Hey, where am I going? Where, oh, the exit's over here. Yo, these slim alleyways got me kind of confused for a minute. I think it was this mission and then one more. I think that's right. Anyways, we'll keep it going. Keep it moving. But yeah, I wanted to make this first video long anyways, so I just wanted to see how well this did. I'm excited, though, that I uh, finally have a story-driven game. Been a long time. We've been playing these, like, random games. And it's like finally some... Uh, full-fledged series upon us just before the new consoles you know I'm trying to go around this thing I don't know what kind of frames I'm getting I'm playing on PC using an Xbox controller like I said I'm not going with mouse and keyboard <laughs> I'm learning actually they're playing Kovac a little bit you know uh, but one day I'll feel more comfortable with that but I, don't, I just wish I could see the frames I'm getting I think I could use like shadow play and figure that out. It seems like it's really smooth though. Okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. All right, here we go. Everybody's chilling until somebody yes, starts sir. running away. Holy, uh how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha! If you guys didn't read this for free to- Oh, hold on. Overdue! Okay. A little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll- Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you were. Where's the money? It's like over here, isn't it? Oh, there it is. Walk right past it. Like, give me that. Oh, maybe this was the last I mission I did in that second video. Let us know if you need. Cause we gotta go to multiple places Anything to pick up stuff. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. <laughs> and give our best to your mom, huh? Breathing smoke all over the guy's donuts. Just cruel. <laughs> it was a real pleasure. All right, so far I'm impressed, guys. This game has not had any issues. It's been smooth. Uh. Could be a really good one. Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. La the last time I remember his next place, was... Tom, his name's not Eugene. The guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard, couldn't scrub it out. 
Like how they show and like laugh we about it now. Keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs there in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. We went to some like house. It's like two floors. I can't remember. It might be coming up. I could be wrong though. We'll see. It's not the second location. I know that. It might not even be this mission. There's 5 0. We gotta be careful. Mm, excuse me, coming through. That's <laughs> like, why? Yeah, the, the gun, not the guns, but the uh, cars were so tough to control. But that's realistic, though. I can't imagine they drove really well back in the day. This is it. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Maybe I'd be happier elsewhere in the world. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own. She gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Go in there and break stuff. All that expensive uh, china at the window yeah, right Eugene's there. Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on his tailor over in Holbrook, a guy ended up in a wheelchair. Hey, elbow guy, drop it. One thing I like about this is they recreated a lot of stuff, but it also, I, it's giving me like nostalgic vibes because I remember playing this a long time ago. Here he comes. He's a Lost fast heaven. worker. Voted dry, sale of liquid. Oh no, liquor is strictly prohibited, yeah. Not for these guys. Dry before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week with some extra besides. You doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And eh, nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. This was the part I remember. Okay. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? You get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you oughta... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Voice acting is really good. That's my goal one day, just to be a voice actor in one of these games I'm playing. One Jesus. day it'll happen. I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, we'll also be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Barolo? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. I'm, I think Anyone I'm like parts of this I remember parts of streets and sidewalks. You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. 
I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Well, happy to oblige. Okay, there it is. Finally. Let me go back. Hold on. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Paul! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capish? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Phil. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Alright, see so if I don't cripple under uh, pressure right here. All right, we got man, we got a lot of bullets. Okay, find a way to move. I think the last time I went towards the back. Let me be sneaky though, just in case. Just me and you. Oh, he saw me. Yo, pistol whip. Let's go, baby. All right, so. Mm. Yeah, you climb up on the sides. I don't think it matters if I'm... You know what? It doesn't matter if I'm being quiet. I'll get some ammo, though. Oh, well, we topped off. We're good. Got 36. Got you <laughs> Jesus, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was gonna shoot him, but he was so close, I felt like I was gonna miss my shot. <laughs> I'm gonna die if I don't. I need to get some more health. Reloaded. Oh god, dude, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I died. Damn. You know what? It's all good. All right, let's get it. Who wrecked the motors? Give me a name. There's a guy down here. I'm going to try to be quiet at first. Plenty of mooks like him come and go. Rick. Help me up. <coughs> Got him. Nice. <sighs> Let me grab some more ammo here. Forever. Go to hell. Did this guy go back inside? I might want to. Well, hold on. I see all the icons. That means we're on different floors. This guy's right in front of me. The man with his pants down at first. You got him. All right, so far so good. Not as guns blazing as last time. There's one more person on the same floor. It looks like they moved. Nothing. Doing. Nothing been doing here for weeks. Nothing in here. I'm gonna look in each room as well. I didn't really explore this too much. There's something over here. Oh, there's a shotgun. Let's go. Yo, I missed this the first time, I'm pretty sure. Well, now I don't really have to aim that much. Hold it in the general vicinity and you're just like, well, we're good. 
All right, so far so good. <laughs> I should have restocked all my ammo, I'm guessing. Yeah, oh, look at that. That's so nice. So if I didn't get the shotgun here, would I have ever gotten it? I don't know. What is this purple thing? Oh, it's on the outside over there. Okay, I see it. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Kind of want to just go ahead and get this mission done. Yeah, we're not going there. Um, Or I could just go this way and get it. We got to go through the first floor now. Let me get this. Look at me exploring. Finding new new things. Gangsters Monthly. Alright, let's get going. Steps right over here. Probably gonna be a lot of red icons down here. They're gonna pop up. Here they go. Or maybe not. There's first aid there, so that's good. I don't even see anybody else. Gonna come through here. Day today. Hey, you have a rough night last night? Over it. <coughs> I was kind of clean, actually. I didn't know if that was gonna work, though. All right, we're good. He had a different type of gun. It looks like. Uh oh. They almost saw me there. It's fine. <sighs> They're gonna see me right when I do this, by the way. I'll open you up. See you. I must reload. Where's this guy at? You're dying today. Got him. No! Take him out. I feel like shotgun's good, but. Gonna take some getting used to the uh, aim assist. Got him. That should be everybody. Hopefully. I think we're good. Sam. They really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Come on. You'd be alright. You're tough as nails. He's got the money, Tom! Oh, catch the bastard! Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money! Alright, let's go get him. That was clean, though. That's some good stealth right there. Only problem is this part was kind of tough because you have multiple ve you have multiple vehicles you gotta shoot while driving. Good thing I got infinite ammo, though. Come on. Come on, six shooter. I can only imagine. The bloom is getting. Hold on. Every shot. I'll do like one at a time. Seems like it's just taking a lot of shots on him. There we go. Nice. Another one's gonna pop in. Yep, here we go. I'd rather just go like rapid fire, because. If one or two miss, that's fine. I really want to get the... Nice! They're out. Well... Gotta watch out for these logs. Hold on. These final destination logs. Hold on. Oh my god. Come on. They get some speed going. It's already, I don't know if it's smoking or picking up dirt, it looks like. Dirt and dust. They're still going. No way, dude. I thought I, I thought they were going to stop right there. They were swerving into that pole area. <laughs>
Got him. Alright, search the wrecked car. Here we go. Let's get this money. That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. All right, clean mission, guys. Ordinary routine. Wasn't quite so ordinary for Tommy. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, I wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping at its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. Way I hear it. Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You drive with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dom, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. Do you know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's, Grills a little bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin I got... Someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time Crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. Not Don Square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We are running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. <laughs> I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. 
He graduates from the junkers to cow jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race. And he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find them. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, Bring it to one of our mechanics. I'll make a few adjustments. You bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? Soon All right. Uh, let me go talk to Ralph, and then after that, I'm probably going to stop for now. This has been a long part one, so thank you guys for any support you drop on it. And again, thank you 2K Games for, you know, the sponsor on this first video. Really awesome of them to do that. with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. Holly, he drove you home. Oh, yeah. yeah hey, <laughs> oh, talk the route. So I guess it's going to proc the mission. So uh, I'll actually stop here for now. Thank you guys so much for everything. And if you want more of this game, I'll kind of see how this first video does. And we'll kind of go from there. But again, if you want to play this game yourself, there should be a link at the very, very top of the description. And uh, I love you guys. Stay classy.